Motorsport 411 presents all the four and two wheeled action. Motorsport 411 with Sean Cartavillas. Welcome to Motorsport 411, your home for all your four and two wheel action in Africa. Coming up in this episode, it was the first ever Kenya National Rally Championship victory for Jasmeet and Ravi Chana as they won in Nakuru. We'll round up the Nakuru Rally with the Iceman. And we continue our build up to the 2023 Safari Rally as KCB comes on board as the official financial partner. All the four and two wheeled action. Motorsport 411. Welcome to the show. So the Nakuru Rally was held over the weekend. It is the final Kenya National Rally Championship event uh, before the 2023 uh, WRC Safari Rally. There were just eight entries for the event with four finishers. It was a debut victory for Jasmeet and Ravi Chana. Hamza Anwar and Adnan Din were second. Rounding off the podium was Aman Shah and Rahid Shah. And in fourth place was Shaquille Khan and Asad Mughal. After the event, I spoke to a very happy Jasmeet Chana. Just me to thank you so much for speaking to us on Motorsport 411. Congratulations, it's been a long time coming. Uh, how did it feel uh, for you and Ravi to win? Well, uh, Sean, it's still sinking in. Uh, I mean, it's been such a long time we've been trying to, to achieve this uh, goal. And, uh, you know, it's, it's awesome to, to win a rally. Um, unfortunately, the low entry, but we still had... Uh, had some good drivers around uh it was good it was a good fight there's been a lot of rain uh, in the area how was the route well in the morning it was nice and slippy and uh, muddy uh we enjoyed it i actually enjoy driving in mud uh and i think that's where we gain most of uh, our time and it's good practice in the area ahead of the safari rally yes it is um it would be awesome if it rains a bit uh, during the safari. It will keep the temperatures low. And yes, uh, it's uh, adventurous driving in that volcanic uh, soil, but uh, I don't mind it. Uh, I hope it rains a little. All right. Now, one or two changes this season in terms of the regulations. So what have you done to your car? Well, uh, basically, from the start of the season, we have gone on to the B13 uh, class. Uh, which is your our normal Group N car, which we've turned into a B13, which is lightening uh, a few bits and pieces, which were a big difference in the car. You know, we can change the oil cooler, the position, um, which makes a lot of difference. Uh, we've gone one millimeter bigger on the restrictor, which gives the car a good uh, kick. Um, and it's very nice to drive now. In this era of the R5s, uh, we've got the R3s. Um, do you think you can still keep up with them? Uh, Sean, there's no way we can keep up with an R5. Um, R3, we can still fight, but a very slim chance. Those cars are so light. Um, you know, it's just um, not doable with the Evos. The Evos are so heavy. And it really comes down to budgets. Uh, that that is a huge uh, difference between uh, even an R three uh, yes. and then going to your Evo. Yes, it is. Um, basically, you know what you're spending on the R three and what we're spending is a very big difference. Just meet. Uh, we have to talk about this. Uh, just eight entries uh, over the weekend. Uh, four finishes. Uh, your your thoughts on the current state of motorsport. It's very sad that Kenya is going through this phase in rallying. Um, you know, we had such a strong uh, entry a few years ago. I mean, we were known that we had the best motorsport uh, in Kenya. And I think now Uganda is ahead of us. Um, it's a bit shameful. Uh, but I hope the officials come up with some kind of idea to make sure after the safari something is done to bring these numbers back up. You know, we have to give credit to you. Uh, come what may, uh, you're almost at every event. Uh, well, what keeps you going? I love rallying. I think it's part and parcel of my life. Um, I'm always there because I want to I take part in that rally. I want to do better. Um, you know, 
and uh, it's not that uh, you know we don't have the legendary drivers anymore and it's about winning no like i said uh you know beating hamza hamza is not a slow driver uh his dad is a very experienced driver it's not easy for someone like me to to beat them um so you know it's amazing to be there and to rally um without sponsorship again uh doing it on our own so hopefully uh you know the officials come up with something and maybe ask KCB to come back if no one else at least KCB to come back and support this rally I'm sure you know it was a very very difficult weekend for everybody concerned uh, from the officials uh, to the drivers the teams uh, you know when you see the low entries uh, the amount of effort uh, being put in by the organizers you know in terms of the route uh, setting everything up uh, a lot of time spent uh, I- I'm sure you feel for everybody concerned huh Yes I do um Sean um you know we were speaking to Harry after the rally and um, he came up and said it bluntly look guys whatever money i got from your entry is what i've spent uh here are the trophies and what we could manage with the entry fee that's what i've done and he did an amazing job the route was perfect i mean he had TIVs he had everything ready uh so i give him you know i applaud him for what he has done from your point of view what what can be done to entice people to come back I guess um first things first is uh, the rules on the old cars you know the safety belt seat belts um they they need to be a bit more lenient on the national events for beginners and for you know we have so many rally cars in Nairobi or should I say Kenya that are sitting and doing nothing and these cars can be driven if we can just be a bit lenient on some safety features and maybe even reduce the entry fee a little and uh, secure a good uh, sponsor for the season there was the task force uh, led by Carl Tundo um, has any of that been implemented uh, are you feeling any effect uh, as a driver uh to tell you the truth uh, not yet uh maybe it's there i haven't felt anything yet All right. Uh you got the safari rally coming up. Uh your your thoughts on it coming up. Uh, how the preparations are coming along for that? Well, the cars have been stripped down. Uh at the same time we're looking for a sponsor. Um hopefully we get something uh to support us uh do the 70th uh, edition safari rally. Uh hopefully fingers crossed uh, something will come up and uh, we'll see how it goes. Just finally uh, I know you got an amazing team behind you uh, a word about Ravi and and the rest of the team Well uh, Ravi's been an amazing navigator um since we started rallying uh, in the Evo 9 and uh, I I give him a thumbs up and I, I applaud him as well uh, to keep uh, up with me uh this rally we actually had uh, a few grimlings in the car uh maybe I was not listening to him uh Besides that, uh, he's been awesome. Sit with me. Just me, Chana, the winner of the Nakuru Rally. Uh, thank you so much uh, for speaking to us on Motorsport 411. Sunday, Sunday, Sean. Uh, take care, guys. We'll be back. All the four and two wheeled action. Motorsport 411. So welcome back. Now our build up towards the 2023 uh, WRC Safari Rally continues. KCB Bank has committed 150 million shillings towards the event and will be the official financial partner for the iconic rally which is set for the 22nd to the 26th of June. Present at the launch for the partnership was the Cabinet Secretary for Youth Affairs, Sports and the Arts, Honorable Ababu Namamba, and also the new Sports Principal Secretary, Honorable Peter Tum. I asked Namamba for his reaction to the partnership. Very exciting. Um and really the right kind of partnership because KCB is an incredible Kenyan brand and because we want the WRC Safari Rally to have a a very special Kenyan taste or the taste of Kenya this partnership is the perfect way to demonstrate that and i really really want to applaud KB, KCB for that uh it is the 70th anniversary of the Safari Rally uh, it's a very special event uh, what what plans do you have 
it's, it's a heritage uh, event. And, and as Kenya, really, we must be extremely proud that we even predate the WRC, the Safari Rally actually predates the WRC by a whole 20, 20 years, two decades. And uh, we just want Kenyans to walk down memory lane, relive those incredible moments of the Safari Rally, the days of Joginda Singh, Shaka Mehta, Patrick Njiru, Akal Tundo, Vic Preston Jr., the great names that have really made a rallying a Kenyan heritage. And so we will be honoring the, that heritage. We have a, a special occasion on the 10th of June. We will start off with a government unveiling its package for, for the sponsorship of this rally. And then later in the evening, we will be celebrating the legends of this heritage with a special dinner. I'd like to also just invite very quickly the new uh, Principal Secretary uh, within uh, Youth Affairs, Sports and the Arts, uh, Engineer Tuum. Uh, you, you, first of all, uh, welcome to the job. Uh, how are you feeling? I feel very great. I am even amazed with the kind of partnerships that we've had and um, the kind of relationship that um, the KCB group and the ministry is forging towards ensuring that sporting activities in this country receive the necessary sponsorships. And, and, and as a principal secretary that is incoming, I, we hope that is the right way to continue partnering <laughs> together. So that's the Cabinet Secretary for Youth Affairs, Sports and the Arts, Ababa Namwamba, and also the Principal Secretary, Peter Tum. Now, I also got to speak to the Chairman of the Local Organising Committee for the Safari Rally, Carl Tundo, and I got his reaction to the partnership with KCB. Uh, it's huge, actually, and to have KCB partner us uh, once again um, just shows their commitment to sort of trying to develop uh, and the fact that they've put uh, 50 million a aside to to drivers themselves um you know it's fantastic without kcb over the last 20 years it uh sports would be motorsport would be uh rock bottom um so we, yeah we thank them we we hope to deliver what they they're expecting um but we're all excited about this we've only got 30 days so you know everyone is uh super busy at the moment it is a big year. There's 70 years of the Safari Rally, uh, first held in 1953 to celebrate the coronation of the Queen. Uh, then we got 50 years of the WRC, uh, 20 years of KCB. It is a very, very big year. It is. It's a huge year and uh, quite a lot of pressure on us as a local organizing committee to deliver what uh, we hope to make um, a huge, a huge event with the, with this, definitely with the 70th anniversary. I mean, that's that's uh, incredible how the event has carried on through sort of the majority of uh, Kenya um, post-independence and before. So, you know, it's part of our heritage. It's part of our livelihoods. It's everyone in the country um, uh, knows of the Safari Rally. Everyone around the world knows the Safari Rally. So, so trying to put on an event that will do it justice is, is quite daunting, but uh, hopefully we've got it covered. As chairman of the local organizing committee, uh, there is a new government in place. Uh, how, how challenging has it been for you personally? Um, I, the, I think the trend, for me, joining with the new government, it's been quite an easy process. Um, we've had lots of backing um, by the CS and, and the PS and, and the government itself. Um, they see the value of the event, um, but... I suppose the transition from, from the last government to this government's been a little bit uh, delayed in our processes um, to get every all the structures in place, but we are there. Um, and yeah, uh, it's all, like, all hands on deck. One or two changes for this year. Uh, the traditional KICC start is not there. Uh, we're at Uhura Park. How's that coming along? It's good, I think. Um, with the uh, development of new Uhura Park and the idea that we want more people directly involved um we felt that uhuru park would add value to to the ceremony it's still got the backdrop backdrop of kicc in the background um but it allows more spectators and more people to get involved which is ultimately the uh you know the the it, it just adds such a great atmosphere when we get all the crowds up on the banks and 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 directly close to the event uh, a key point brought by the cabinet secretary, Ababu Namwamba, is bringing the rally closer to the people. He's saying that 
we should have uh you know people selling their wares uh, you know having people you know in various areas including the starter How, how's that coming along um you know i i 100 percent agree with him there's no point in having a safari rally here if we cannot get as much reach to to every kenyan out there to be able to either watch it or to get involved so I mean, it's tricky with the fact that FIA have certain stipulations on safety. You know, we've got to be on closed, closed roads. We've got to be on closed farms. But there are ways that we can sort of uh, help assist people getting closer. Um, like, for example, Uhuru Park, then setting up hustler bazaars around the country where uh, at the moment we are choosing two locations, Uhuru Park and, and one other, where we can set up areas where you can actually come view uh, the event live throughout the weekend. So, I mean, I think that that's a first step to, to getting this um, back to the public. I remember in the old days, Safari Rally was the Easter weekend and everyone around the country went out to watch it. It's a little bit more tricky with the new setup of how rallies are run, but we can do more to uh, try and achieve the history of the, you know, the iconic history behind the event. So, so that's what we're trying to do. And hopefully we will do a small part of what we aim to achieve in the future. A key factor of the Safari Rally has been the rain that we saw on the Saturday last year, how much chaos it caused. There's been a lot of rain this year, uh, more rain expected, uh, possibly even El Nino. Um, from your point of view, uh, how's the setup of the route going? Uh, how much do you know of what what's happening down there with Gooby and their team? So I let Gooby get on with it. He's, uh, you know, the FIA technical expert on these things. He knows what, uh, and very confident in, in him, uh, in the fact that he knows what FIA want and what we can do and how we can divert stages if needs be, if there is so much rain, but Personally, I believe a wet safari rally would just be absolutely awesome for 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 the for the series. Um, so I am hoping it, it it is wet, and I'm hoping that Guvi does everything in his powers to make sure the route stays as is. So we're we're looking forward to that. There was a conscious decision to lessen, so to speak, uh, fesh fesh for this year. Um, uh, your, your your thoughts. I, I think with the amount of fresh fresh that was there last year, because I was actually doing the event, it was it was a bit ridiculous. Um, there were areas that were uh, almost impassable with with all the entrants. You know, I'm not just talking the top boys; I'm talking everyone involved. It was it was more like a rhino charge in certain aspects. So I I believe that's a big positive. There will be fresh fresh. There's no way you cannot be in in uh naivasha without it so so that as you know that exciting aspect will be there but just maybe just tone down a bit to make sure that it is a rally and not a, a a raid it is the 70th anniversary of the safari rally uh, 50 years of the wrc how important in your eyes is a safari rally to the wrc i would assume and i'm now biased because i'm kenyan that it's a huge added benefit to their series because of the environment we're in the the, the fans that we have not that there aren't uh, fans around the world that are as keen but we we just i don't know it's the cultural the, the kenyan sort of hospitality the whole vibe around having a safari rally i think um is is a positive which which does help us a bit you come from a motorsport family. Uh, you've grown up with the Safari Rally. Um, any special memories? Um, who, who are your, your personal heroes growing up uh, watching the Safari? So definitely my dad. I mean, we used to sort of follow him uh, throughout our childhood doing the Safari and, and the amount of support that he's given us to to continue with our, our motorsport sort of dreams um, has been unreal. But um there's so many people that you you know to actually put a name on on any of them uh is quite a difficult thing any any names that would stick out for you uh you know any personal heroes when you were growing up gronholm i suppose was was one of my favorites uh Loeb, obviously but he is is uh my 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 sort of age so he's always at the top of my list of uh of heroes or people that i would uh 
um, like to to meet and and things like that, and I've had the opportunity to. Um, no, I, I I don't think so. I think my dad is one one of my my personal heroes. Um, when you look at the safari rally of before, you know, pre-2002, uh, particularly when you go into the 90s, the 80s, 70s, um, from that, um, what, what sort of respect do you have for the drivers in, in that era, you know, considering, you know, what, what they used to go through over, you know, five days? No, it was huge. It was, you know, it was a, a, a massive endurance event and trying to get these cars around sort of three, four, five thousand kilometers. I was uh, privileged enough to be able to do the 95 safari rally when it was wrc uh, status and that was a challenge that was a real challenge um so yeah uh hats off to them um but again let's not take away the 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 new form of rallying where it's you know driving at 200 percent in these hybrid cars that are absolutely ridiculous uh, you know it's 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 they're, they're chalk and cheese but but it is as exciting, but obviously um, those old days, those old guys in their old cars and, and having Kenyans at the top um, and be able, being able to drive WRC cars, that was just an awesome era in, in the safari. One person who was there last year who sadly won't be at the safari this year, uh, Craig Breen, um, you can see the dangers and with you being a driver of motorsport, you know, even through a freak accident like that. Um, I'm sure you feel, um, you know, and obviously the, the, there will be some semblance of, of sadness of him not being at the Safari this year. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I, I had the privilege to meet him last year and he was a fantastic guy and his family also. Uh, the support that they had for him and they sort of were out spectating. Um, uh, yeah, it, it, it is desperately sad, but, uh, you know, he was doing something that he absolutely loved and we can never... We, we never know where life is going to take us. Um, it, 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 it is never in the back of my head when I'm rallying because I'm doing what I love. But I suppose the older you get and with uh, kids and stuff that the you do, you take a, a, a second thought. <laughs> the likes of you, Onka, Karen, uh, you know, able to crack the top 10 in 2021. Um, do, you, do you think that's possible again uh, for a local possibly to crack the top 10 this year? Yeah, definitely. Um, I suppose our terrain, our, the fresh, fresh, the, if it rains, you know, all these added factors into the event make it possible for um, someone at the back and a P2 sort of driver. And I think they're called P2s, um, yeah, category or whatever you want to call them. But yes, it is, it is definitely possible f um, with our experience here to do that so that's adds adds some excitement finally flash um from your point of view uh, everything's going okay in terms of the organization uh, you know from your point of view yeah uh, as i said before you know we've had a quite a few delays in the t transition of the two governments that we've started off on the back foot um we have a lot of support but we aim to deliver a fantastic event so um i'm confident we can we we are with 30 days left we are all hands on deck deck as i said so let's just fingers crossed and we've got a very capable team here that they've done it three times uh so far twice in a candidate event so i don't have any uh problems to with the fact that they they can do the job so you know let, let's uh let's do this Carl Tundo, the chairman of the local organizing committee for the Safari Rally. I thank you so much for speaking to us on Motorsport 411. Yeah, thank you very much. And hopefully we see you all out there enjoying yourselves. We'll be back. Motorsports 411 with Sean Cardavillis. So that's it for the show this week. Our thanks once again to Just Me Chana, the Cabinet Secretary for Youth Affairs, Sports and the Arts, Ababa Namamba, the Principal Secretary, Peter Tum, the Chairman of the Local Organizing Committee of the Safari Rally, Carl Tundo. Our thanks as always to Big City Studio. I'm Sean Carter-Villas. See you next week. 